Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to create a dictionary app using JSON file, Sketchware and AID. So let's start. First we have to create a JSON file. And this is how we have to create a JSON file. First we have to put a opening square bracket and in the end we have to put a closing square bracket. And in between at each position we have to put our words and meanings. So here in my JSON file I have put a word intent and its meaning at first position then at second position I put this word concern and its meaning now what we have to remember is each position like here you can see that starting with this opening curly bracket and ending at this closing curly bracket is the first position so at each position we should have comma at the end which separates the positions so this position 1 and position 2 are separated by this comma then position 2 and position 3 are separated by this second comma and so on so we have to put this comma at the end of each position each position should have an opening and closing curly bracket then each position should have these two keys word and meaning here you can see at each position I have put these keys the same key word and meaning then the value of word will be different at each position and value of meaning will be the meaning of this word now each of these two keys the word and meaning should be separated by a comma here you can see there is comma separating the word and meaning at each position and in this way we can add more number of words like suppose if I have to add a new word I will just copy this thing I will copy this part and paste it here I will make some space and paste it here and now here I will change this approach to the new word which I want like hand, handout or something else like handsome and here I will write some meaning for it and I will just save this so that's how we can create this JSON file so now I will create JSON file containing all this content so I will just copy this and I will move to a file manager ES file explorer here I will create a new text file I will create a new file by name my file dot json now in this file my file dot json I will open it as text file in ES note editor and I will edit it to put all the words here now I will just save this and after saving this I will create an app in sketchware in Sketchware, I have already created an app. In main.xml, I have edit text 1 and list view 1, and I have a custom view, custom.xml, which contains text view 1. Now, for this list view 1, I have set padding to 0 and I have set custom view. I have selected custom.xml as custom view. Now, let's move to the logic area. In logic, I have file shared preferences component file and intent component i in main activity and in on activity create what I will be doing is I will get all the data from the JSON file to the list map and I will display it in list view so for that I have created this string j string which will act as JSON string and I have these two number variables n and r then I have used this list map which is map map and I have used these blocks list view set list custom view data list map map list view one refresh data this that's all in on create next is on bind custom view in on bind custom view I have displayed all the words from list map into the list view using this code text view one set text get value at position keyword of list map 
this is in on bind custom view next is on item click what i have done on on item click is i have saved the word and meaning at that position of list map to file shared preferences using the keys word and meaning and then i have used intent to move to the next activity which is meaning activity that's all in dish view one item click next i will show you my meaning activity meaning.xml contains these two text views text view one and text view two and it contains the same file shared preferences component with name file and here i have displayed the data from file keys word and meaning in text view one and text view two respectively now i will show you my edit text one on text change what i have done on edit text one on text changes i have searched the map list so in order to search the map list whenever the text changes i create a new map list from the json string and then if the word at any position contains the character sequence i do nothing and if it doesn't contain the character sequence i delete that position so in this way i search the map list and after that i have displayed i display the map list in the list view if you want this you can take a screenshot of this it will be useful so that's all here next in view manager for main.xml, I have selected keyboard visibility as hidden. Now next what we have to do is run the project and after running the project, we have to save and exit the project and export it. So after running the project, just save and exit the project and export the project. Here my project is new project 6 and I will export it directly to my SD card using ES file explorer. Here this is my SD card, I will just select this path and I will export it. Now after exporting, I will go back to ES file explorer and here I will find this project new project 6.zip. Uh, here I will create a new folder with name 2 dictionary 2 dict and I will decompress this or extract the contents of this to this folder which I just created which is 2 dict it is here so I will extract everything to this folder now after that I will just copy this my file dot json and paste it inside assets folder of my project in to dict in to dict I will navigate to app source main assets and here I will paste this file my file dot json now I will open my project in aide In order to open my project, I will just go to this folder to dict and open build.gradle file. Once I open this, I will see that there are a few errors, mainly because of this JSON. So in order to correct this, I will change this 2.8.0 to plus symbol and I will change this implementation at the beginning to compile after this I will just save this build.gradle file if the library is there it will get added and if it is not there it will get downloaded and then it will show no errors so after this I will move to main activity.java which is in source java folder here is this main activity.java. In main activity.java, I will find private void initialize logic. 
here is this private void initialized logic. So, inside this private void initialized logic, I will make some space and right before this list view one set adapter, what I will do is I will write this try catch exception code, try then this opening curly bracket and closing curly bracket. Now after this closing curly bracket will be catch exception E and then again these opening and closing curly brackets. If there is an exception, I will just show this E as the message. So, for that I will write show message E dot to string and in try block I will write code for getting data from the JSON file to map list. So, for that I will write first I will write a buffered reader, I will create a new buffered reader, buffered reader, then I will write its name reader is equal to new buffered reader. After that this opening bracket, in next line I will put this closing bracket and I will put a semicolon. Now inside this I will write new input stream reader, input stream reader, after that again this opening bracket and inside this I will write get assets, let this be new line, here I will write get assets dot open and in bracket I will write the name of my JSON file which is my file dot json. Now, I will just close this and put this closing bracket and I will close this input stream reader also here. So, here I have closed this open, then I have closed this input stream reader and then I have closed this buffered reader. So, that is all this will create a new buffer reader called reader for the JSON file which is in assets folder. Next I will create a new string called row, string row is equal to an empty string. Next I will create a while loop, while So, this is a while loop and inside this I will write while row is equal to reader dot read line and while this is not equal to null. while row is equal to reader dot read line not equal to null, then in that case I will add it to j string, j string plus equal to row plus, here I will just write a new line writing backslash n and then this closing this semicolon. So, j string plus equal to row plus backslash n. Now, after this all the contents of json file will be added to this j string. Now, I will display this j string or convert this j string to list map. So, for that I will write the name of my list map which is map it is of type array list hash map string object. So, I will write map is equal to new 
json dot json and then these brackets new json dot from json and in bracket I will write the j string comma new type token then the angular brackets after that these normal brackets then the curly brackets then a dot and then get type then again these brackets and a semicolon at the end. So, this is map equal to new json from json j string comma new type token dot get type. Now, inside this I will write the type which is array list hash map string object. So, here I will write array list then again these angular brackets now inside this I will write hash map and again these angular brackets now inside this angular bracket I will write string comma object So, that is all here. What is missing is a closing bracket. So, here I will close this and I will save this thing. Now, in next line, I will close this buffered reader by writing reader. dot close and a semicolon this will close the buffered reader that's all in coding part all this code is in initialized logic private void initialized logic and this initialized logic is used in this on create here you can see protected void on create contains initialized logic so, all these things will be executed in on create. Now, I will just save this and run the project. Okay, here you can see my dictionary app, it contains all the words which I had added, and here is this word handsome. If I click on this, it shows the word and its meaning. And if I click on any other word, it shows that word and the meaning of that word. And if I write something in this edit text like I N T and then I can select this intent or if I write something else, something starting from D, there is no word from D, but still I can find conduct. If I write something else like this issue and establish, establish is set up or found and issue is some situation or event that is thought about. So, in this way you can create a dictionary app using JSON file and assets folder in Sketchware and AID. I hope this was useful. Thank you very much for watching this video.